Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an EQ bank account online in 2024. So today, we're embarking on a journey to simplify your banking experience by creating an EQ bank account online. Whether you're new to the EQ bank or seeking to expand your banking options, join me as we explore the steps of creating an account online in 2024. And let's dive into the world of seamless banking experience together. So let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically you will have to go to the url section and go to their website right away. So type EQ bank account, of course, right away. Make sure you'll be taken to this page. Make sure to click on that link right away to be, of course, on their home screen or main screen. Now you will find yourself in here. So here you can go, of course, to the top right corner, sign in option to sign in into your account. If you have an account, maybe as an example, you created the chicken account you need to create now a banking account another like saving account or whatever it is i don't know and if you know nothing about uh, eq and you want to create a new account you can scroll down to read more information about this website a lot of people as you can see you can even see here what people saying about it and a lot of people would like to know about a bank account even even before creating an account on them and or even as example if you're creating an account or new website not even a bank some people just like to see more about it so just Go and click on the links to create or to learn more about it. And for the other people who don't care, you will have first of all to recognize which bank account you want to create. There is a lot of options. So for you, just go here and click on personal and you'll find your everyday account, uh, everyday account, investments, a lot of options. So for me, I'll just go and open a personal account. As you can see, if you, are, you have a lot of options like joint accounts and other stuff, for me, I'll just go here to personal accounts and go and click on that. This should take me into this page. As you can see, act like chicken, earn 4% interest. And as you can see, the best chicken features plus 4% interest, of course, of the saving. And basically, you can click on join now to join right away. Or you can scroll down to read more information if you want to learn more about it. So for me, I'll just go back here and click on join now right away. Now, as you can see, I'll have to start filling up these applications. You can see smart choice. You only will have to, you can read this information as you can see in here if you want to. If you don't, it's cool. And for me, uh, what you will need, of course, simply who can apply. Anyone living in Canada that has reached the age of majority, 18 in some places and 19 in the other places. And what you will need, uh, of course, you will need uh, like a social security number which is the SIN, uh, insurance, not security, sorry, security in America. And you may be asked for photo ID to verify your identity. That's it. If you have those, you'll have to start filling the information here. For me, as you can see, I'll type, test, I'll type some random information for you. Make sure to type accurate information so your application will not get denied. And here, as an example, I'll type a last name, I'll just type tester, uh, email, I'll type my email, like uh, this email right here, and I'll have to delete one, wait, so 222 at gmail.com. And as you can see here, and you will have, or they will send me a code where I should verify my email if it's right or not. It's good. It's okay. And here, of course, you can read the privacy policy. In the meanwhile, let me just go back in here. So as you can see, you're pro pro protected by the CDIC. So it's something, as you can see, you can read a lot of information about it here. Uh, it just protects you. You protect your deposits at least for 100,000 and make sure that you are protected. So, of course, you can read more about this by this protecting your uh, things so you can go and read it out and then click on continue. Once you click on continue here, as you can see, you can go back and read those privacy policy and etc. And even this protection options. So here you'll have to check your inbox and enter the passcode that you have. Of course, to do it. I'll just go to my email provider, click on this first, and as you can see, I have the code here, one triple two and six five. So basically, go back here, type one triple two and six five, then click on verify. 
and here I'll have now to enter my phone number so make sure to go and enter a phone number available one for me I'll enter a random one probably they will ask me to verify it I'll not be able to but I'll just show you like here you that we will have to enter your uh, information like the mobile number so enter it here and you will have to check this option if you uncheck it as an example you'll not be able to click on send passcode so make sure to check it and click on send passcode they'll send you a passcode enter that passcode here and you will verify your number as i said before i don't have this number i don't own it so i'll not be able to do it but it's pretty simple from now on so you will basically have to enter the information that they ask you about so you basically have to complete and it's pretty easy to complete the rest of the application by your own so make sure to complete it of course they will ask you to provide some personal information like your full name we already provide that by like your uh, address your date of birth they will ask you to verify your id and a lot of other stuff and of course then after that make sure first of all to review all the details that you are entering make sure to take some time to review everything about it make sure to have everything access because if not you may get like a, or your application might not get accepted so you don't want that and of course uh, depending on the account type that you have it may take no time to start your bank account and once upon approval you receive instructions with an email on how to activate your account and you'll be good to go of course here we can go back and see that you can create another account other than everyday or checking account you can have a lot of options to create an account now as an example we will just go and see the other reviews of other people about this bank as an example what they say on it so I'll open a new tab type reviews on our bank which is the eq so sorry eq bank and here click on the enter i'll just go to trust pilot which is what i use normally here as you can see not a good average if you go and click on the link on the right to see if the right bank or not, you'll find that that is the right one. So this reviews on this exact bank. So as you can see here, a lot of bad like reviews with five some five stars. You can see here and post video and read every like stories. Of course, you can find any other alternatives. For example, I'll just show you one here which is this CWB, a Canadian West Bank. It's very, very good. A lot of people are actually saying it's good. As you can see, it has a better, much, much better like review rate. A lot of people giving it five stars and a lot of people even reviewing it. So you can open it instead of this as an example, as you can see, because it has bad reviews, but if you don't want to, it's okay for you you can do whatever you want so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching if you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section thank you for watching again like the video and goodbye so i'll see you in the next video